Um, these are not accurate tests. Um, but yes, if you decide that your total cholesterol is high, if that's made up of high VLDL, you, you have another problem. It's not the VLDL that's causing you to have heart disease. It's just telling you. This is the, the, the argument of yellow fingers and, and lung cancer, which you may or may not have heard. Mm. People with yellow fingers are more likely to die of lung cancer. Okay. Amazingly enough. Yeah. Did you not know that? Know. Why is this? It's because they smoke. Does that I, I give you yellow yes. fingers? All right. <laughs> so I missed that one. Yeah, yeah. you know, so it's a classic epidemiology thing. Now. So the question is, when you're looking at when you look at it, VLDL is high, people have higher rates of heart disease. Yes. And well, because if you've got insulin resistance and metabolic syndrome, you'll have high VLDL levels. That's the thing that's causing the heart disease, right. not the VLDL. Yeah. If you've got a low HDL, well, that's another because actually, as VLDL comes out of the liver, HDL comes up to it and swaps like things, other proteins on the surface of them, in order that the VLDL can be recognized by receptors around the body, and therefore the HDL level drops. So the higher your VLDL level goes, automatically the lower your HDL level goes their associated levels and so one goes up one goes down the LDL level stays the same the calculated figure appears to be the same but you've got a completely different problem going on if you like and, and yet people have just said oh it's cholesterol and a it's not cholesterol b there are dis different things and then there's another lipoprotein that no one's even mentioned yet which is called lipoprotein a and again guarantee anyone listening to this go and ask your doctor what's lpa they will not know um the lpa is a ldl molecule with a specific protein attached to the side of it called apolipoprotein a and there's a really interesting whole story about apolipoprotein a mm -hmm. which is to do with the fact that it is highly involved in regulating blood clots and you cannot find it in animals or you find hardly any of it in animals that that manufacture their own vitamin C. Mm -hmm. You think, well, where does this story go? Well, vitamin C, all right, this may seem like a sign. It comes back around. Don't worry, we get there in the end. Vitamin C, a lack of vitamin C causes scurvy, right? Nobody, nobody knows what scurvy is. But what scurvy is, is, is because vitamin C is required for the body to make collagen. You may have heard of collagen. Yes. Sharks, yes. Made, of, sharks are made of collagen, not bone. And it's really... Are we like just the, based, aren't we made of collagen mostly, like fascia, sorry? muscles? Are we made of like collagen all, mostly? Yeah. Without, without collagen, we would just be a disintegrated mush. Right? That's right, yeah. We would just, we would, well, we'd have bones, but the rest of us would just be mush. But the first, one of the first organs or parts of the body that needs collagen in order to not break down are blood vessels. If you don't have enough collagen, your blood vessels start to crack. Mm. And one of the first signs of scurvy is your gums bleed because your blood vessels are breaking open. Right. And then you bleed internally and then you die of internal bleeding, All right, which is a pretty nasty way to go. And um, um, so you can't make vitamin C. Now, there's, there's about 10 or nine animals that can't make their own vitamin C. Guinea pigs, some great apes, some weird things that I can never remember the name of, and us. You think, well, why don't we make vitamin C? It seems silly. Um, it's made from glucose, by the way. And um, it looks almost like a glucose molecule. So if you can't make vitamin C and you don't get vitamin C, your blood vessels start to break down and then you die of bleeding to death. So the body at some point came up with a patch and said, if we're breaking down, can we stick things to the side of blood vessels to stop them cracking? And the thing they used is, is LPA, lipoprotein A. That's the sticky stuff that forms like super glues your artery walls together. But uh, they did some experiments once on guinea pigs who can't make vitamin C, and they, they got all the vitamin C out of their diet. Then they started to develop atherosclerosis in their blood vessels, which guinea pigs don't normally do. Then they gave them the vitamin C back, and the atherosclerosis disappeared. 